We are officially in July and these are the seeds you need to start if you garden in Canada. Now our list is maybe not as long as those in California, but it's still pretty large if you intend to keep things going into the fall. The sparrow court is being held behind me. They're, they want to kick one of the sparrows out. It's just a very turbulent time for them. Very similar to our politics, completely useless. All right, so what are some things that you can start right now that don't necessarily need to be started indoors and or don't have to be kept going into the fall period? Well, that is any packaging that says 30 or less days on it. So days to harvest, days to flower, below the 30 mark. Why this is important is because yes, we have more than 30 days to get things growing um, and before our frost hits, However, you have to account for the time it takes for things to germinate, obviously, and then you do want things harvested, obviously, before first frost. So these include lettuce, herbs, beets, carrots, radish for the world of edibles. And then if you're looking for something that's maybe not necessarily edible, but flowers, you could do things like chamomile, nasturtiums, marigolds. You'll get some tiny marigolds, but you'll still get some action off of them. Zinnias. Again, all of these being started in ground, not inside. These will do all fine. No special treatments, nothing like that. You just kind of would put them haphazardly where you can fit them. You could start them indoors if you like, but it's really not going to make that big of a difference. So that is completely optional. Okay, so those are the ones that you can direct. So how about the ones you can start indoors? And I specifically say indoors because if you started these outdoors, it's not gonna end well for you. They will bolt, they will not do well. But if you're interested in a fall garden, potentially having to cover things, do cold frames, that sort of jazz, and these are actually ones you wanna start here in the present. Now, these include flowers and it includes obviously edibles as well. So for flowers, things like mums, those are kind of like those really firm looking things um so mums would work there's also it's not so much a flower i don't remember the name of it i'll try to i'll try to figure out what the name of it is but i plant it every single year and it's literally just foliage that's like a soft kind of white that is perfect dried and used in wreaths like christmas wreaths or christmas decor because it it literally how it looks right now is what it will translate into looking like later on you won't get maybe as big of a plant as you would if you would have started this earlier but you will still get something that is useful to you to try out in the garden you also may want to choose to do peppers now peppers are something that obviously needs to be put in the container and can be brought indoors However, you can get them pretty well established, flowered and ready to go prior to having to transition them inside when things start getting cooler. So give those a shot. Cauliflowers and broccolis. So these two will do wonderfully uh, being started now and then being placed outdoors in the late summer when the nights start to get a little bit cooler and they will pop off like crazy. Next kale so this includes decorative kales so decorative kales are kind of like those really almost cabbage compound looking things those we want to stay compound obviously and if we plant them now they'll tend to kind of get more kale like which isn't pretty and our floral arrangements or in our fall floral arrangements. So if you want that kind of compact fall look, then you definitely want to start those here now, start them indoors so they don't bolt, they don't stretch. If you're just doing this for edibles, you could start them in ground, but my preference is to start them indoors in the basement. Uh, again, cooler temps, obviously easier to control pests because that's one thing that you may not be noticing yet right now, particularly in a Canadian garden, you probably don't have like the aphids and all the things that are not ideal kind of happening but you will very soon and all of these little plants tend to be first dibs when it comes to destruction by insects so start them indoors and you will be pleasantly surprised with the result this one you're going to be like how and why did i never think to do this before genius and that is house plants. I'm not saying start house plants from seeds. What I am saying though 
is right now is the time to start your houseplant cuttings. So anything that you want to propagate and get more of, now is the time to do it because you will be shocked by how well this works. I've done this with some slips from a flower from my grandma's house. If you choose to start these um, in water, soil, you name it. I prefer soil and in particular houseplants will thrive and survive in soil at this time. Now, if you're looking for a soil that's not gonna dry out and give you some great results, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video right here where I show you exactly what soil type you should use. And it is a very specific one with very specific ingredients in it, as well as what self-watering containers look like because it's gonna get warm eventually and this is going to be your savior. This video down here, Google says you should watch based on your Google search. So creepy as that is, apparently it's gonna be helpful to you. So go check that out too.